Hello children, it's me again, Auntie Ruande. So today we are going to learn about Isaac receives God's compassion. This is lesson number two. Uh, I hope you know who Isaac is or else I will tell you a brief intro as to who Isaac is. Isaac is the only son of Abraham. Who is Abraham? I'm sure you would have seen this uh, craft or you may have you would have done this or you probably would know who Abraham is. Abraham is a very special person to God and God gave Abraham three special promises. One is a big family and then he gave uh, Abraham some big land and a very special blessing that is over here that is Isaac. So God blessed uh, Abraham with Isaac when he is very old. Right, so there is a small reading that we have to look into in the Bible and let me read it. So it comes from Genesis chapter 26 verse 1 to 5 and verse 12 to 40. So I hope you can have the Bible with you now and let's turn to page um, where it says about this. Right, so it's chapter 26 verse 1 to 5. I'm going to read it for you. Isaac and Abimelech. Now there was a famine in the land, besides the previous famine in Abraham's time. And Isaac went to Abimelech, king of Philistines in Gerar. The Lord appeared to Isaac and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land where I tell you to live. Stay in this land for a while and I will be with you and will bless you. For to you and your descendants I will keep all these lands and will confirm the oath I swore to your father Abraham. I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and will give them all these lands and through your offspring all nations on earth will be blessed. Because Abraham obeyed me and did everything I required of him, keeping my commands, my decrees and my instructions. So in verse 12 it says, Isaac planted crops in that land and the same year reaped a hundredfold because the Lord blessed him. The man became rich and his wealth continued to grow until he became very wealthy. He had so many flocks and herds and servants that the Philistines envied him. Okay, so that is the word of God. Now what do you see in this? See, because of Abraham, Isaac was blessed to a very good maximum of lot of things, right? Because Isaac is the descendant of Abraham and Abraham obeyed. It said in the Bible when we read this thing, it said that Abraham, because of Abraham, Isaac is getting lots and lots of things. Now, what is the lesson that we have to get from this now? I'm sure we all would have got lots of blessings, right? I'm sure even though you're very small, see the more, the, the wake up in the morning that we do is also a blessing to us. Right? Uh, God is blessing us in every single way. Maybe sometimes we are going through a lot of issues. Maybe uh, we have problems with a friend at school or maybe we have some other kind of issue that we are going through. But still, God is there with us. Right? If we obey God, God has said that he is going to bless us. It's same with Abraham too. Because Abraham was going through a lot of issues in his life and sometimes he was wondering where God was. But still, uh, because he kept his uh, faith in Jesus, in God, uh, God blessed him a lot. right? And uh, since Isaac is his descendant, it says here that everything that Isaac touched was blessed. Right? He used to get lots of crops from his lands and he was in hundredfolds. It said in the Bible it's in hundredfolds. So 
we as in our younger age we have to understand that it is important that we obey god god's word sometimes even though like i said before we may be going through certain issues but still if we obey jesus if we pray just have to say a small prayer in the morning and sometimes you can talk to god any time during the day doesn't have a specific time right so always tell god just be with me if i'm doing something wrong jesus just help me to be a good child and i'm sure god is going to help you and bless you we will say a small prayer now okay so hope you know last time i told you how you have to pray keep your hands together and close your eyes dear lord jesus like abraham help me to be a good child since my younger age you know what purpose you have brought me to this world and just help me to live in that path you have ordained just help me to be a good child and like isaac and abraham i'm sure you are going to bless me more and more in the days to come we commit ourselves our families to your hands in mighty name we pray amen